Howdy! It's Liz again, and I have another Flow Style Junk Journal for you. Um, and this is called a pink Flow Style Junk Journal, and you're saying to yourself, why is the cover green if it's a pink Flow Style Junk Journal? Um, it's because a lot of the papers in here are pink. This was one of the coordinates, and I really liked it as a cover, and it uses some of the colors that are inside. Um, it is made out of double-sided scrapbook paper. A flow style junk journal is one that's intended to be completely taken apart. It's held together loosely with uh, three strands of fiber. This one is a flat fiber that gradates in color from beige to sort of lavender. This one is a very slubby one that is different shades of beige, peach, and pink. And this one is a slightly fuzzy one that's hot pink. These are wrapped around twice through the center of the signature. It's a single signature flow style book. Um, it is six inches by nine inches. I take one 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper. I score it down the middle and then fold it up for a three inch pocket here which is held together by washi tape so that you can take that apart and completely re reuse the cover in your own project. On the first pocket there is a pink breast cancer awareness playing card with a couple of windings of a stretchy white lace um, and inside the front pocket Oh, and here you can see the other print from the back side of the double-sided scrapbook paper. This is a cut from a Cricut machine that my husband did. It has wonderful lattice work. You'll actually see it better if I put it over here on the beige. Um, and I just made a great little video using this. I love this. It's actually in the Cricut artwork that's online in their subscription service, and I put it on the cover of a cute little book. Uh, this is a double-sided piece of scrapbook paper, single-sided, this is the lighter weight, an index card from a music education collection. This is a die cut that is separate here and you can use for a trim on the edge of the page or a very fancy tag. It's a little piece of artwork, this is a Claude Monet picture, something a little more modern on the back. And this is a journal page from a book that I took apart that had writing prompts in it that has shades of pink and orange and sort of mauve. This one's a very pale pink uh, floral and it's blank on the back. This is a scrap from my uh, dye box, my spray box. And this is my new favorite stencil, this Paisley. And it's much more muted on the back. You can pick which side you'd like to use. I use like to say you own both sides so if you, you like one better than the other go ahead and use it put this back together the first page in the signature is um, music paper it's from Gilbert and Sullivan you get lots of notes with Gilbert and Sullivan they like to use a lot of notes uh, this is a double-sided piece of scrapbook paper with a lovely sort of a dark mauve on the back and this is a stamped piece of paper. Another double-sided scrapbook paper that goes so well with those. This is a piece of public domain artwork that's on the New York Public Library digital collection. It's an old sheet of uh, sheet music uh, dated June 14, 1896. This is a print, obviously, not the original. Two pages here of this wonderful old paper. I think this this book is actually only from the 20s but it's got a phenomenal amount of wear on it. Uh, this is a book of flowers and I picked out the pink section and put it in. This is another sheet from the spray box. I wanted to do some coordinates for the pink as well and I under sprayed it in this light color and then this darker blue green went through a stencil. This is from a teacher's uh, book and unlike the ones that you usually find, um, this is in multiple colors. It's in red and purple and blue, as well as a little bit of black. And here's another stamped card. And this is a piece of scrapbook paper that is double-sided. This one is single-sided. Put those back on. This is the double-sided 
cardstock scrapbook paper. I never know exactly what to call it. It's heavier than paper, but it's 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 like a very light cardstock. Uh, this is a sheet from a Harry Potter coloring book. This looks like it's in the dining hall. And this one is going to be the outside of the castle. It's another stamp. This is a single-sided scrapbook paper. This one is the heavier scrapbook paper that's that is single-sided. Uh, these are two pages from a book I have in French on lithographers and printers and engravers, I think. Uh, here's another picture from the New York Digital Collection. You see this one a lot. This is a very popular one. This is a Saint uh, book from a, the 1800s called Saint Elmo. Strangely enough, this one doesn't have a lot of wear. It must not have seen the light a lot. Um, Double-sided scrapbook paper. This one's a single-sided piece. And then the back side of that. Gridded paper. Two pages from the dictionary. This is a great book on um, art. I just love these are some more modern feeling ones with uh, pink colors. It's a very pale peach piece of stationery and this is the envelope that goes with it. This is a great book. It's actually only from the 70s I believe. It's a European train schedule and it's very similar to newsprint and it has a lot of discoloration around the edges and attached to this piece of cardstock I have a couple of buttons from my button collection. Some of these came from my mother's and her grandmother's and great-grandmother's button boxes. A couple of them are new but there are some lovely pink, uh, gray, white, and off-white buttons there for you. Oops, don't let my favorite one sneak away. Back in there. I paper clipped it to this so hopefully they won't escape. And this one is double-sided. It's very soft on this side. You may have a hard time seeing it. And then it's marble on the back side. There's also a gray marble envelope tucked into the center here. And on this side, there are, I believe, ten uh, pink, peach, mauve fabrics in here to use in your crafts. And on the other side are the tags that coordinate with the collection of scrapbook paper that the cover is from. As you see, they go so nicely with that, that green cover. It's in uh, the tags as well. Tuck that back in. The second half is going to be mostly the other sides of those pages which are going to look a little familiar to you. Dictionary pages, grid. Here's a um, another stamped image and a double-sided piece of scrapbook paper. And St. Elmo's book. This is another uh, image from that New York digital collection. This was in uh, p very pale pink and black. And this is an invitation to a grand masquerade ball in Madison Square Garden in New York, February 8th, 1907. The dictionary pages again. This is a double-sided piece of uh, paper and a stamped image. Here's the other side of the Harry Potter. It's the exterior and here's the dining hall. <clears throat> Another stamped image. This one's a single-sided piece of scrapbook paper and the hair clips. I just love those. The gridded paper. And this may be my favorite uh, image I found recently from that New York collection. It's a picture of a uh, giant shoe with men crawling into it. And it is from somewhere in Asia. And I betray my stupidity here. I know that this red mark is called a chop. And it's used by uh, both Chinese and Japanese, I believe, um, people in their artwork. It's sort of a signature. Uh, more stamped images and a scrapbook piece of paper. The music and attached to the back pocket is a little packet of beads and these are in a plastic bag so hopefully they'll all be contained. 
There are four of the dark mauve beads. There are four impossible to see, very pale pink crystal beads. Uh, there are four of the off-white stone beads and a whole bunch of the little silver seed beads. Tuck those back here. And in the back pocket, I got a great deal on these at the craft store. And I thought if you are putting together a junk journal that um, has, a, has a tassel on the end, on the spine, it has jump rings on both ends. It says love here in the center. So you can attach it to the spine and then put another jump ring with a bead here. And it is a chain, so you should be able to put jump rings along the chain and put your beads together that way for your spine. That's a very popular look at the moment. Single piece of scrapbook paper. It's another, um, it's essentially a doily from, well, it's hard to see. There you go. Uh, from the Cricut printing. Bob is really enjoying the Cricut. Double-sided scrapbook paper. Double-sided scrapbook paper in green. This is from a quilt block a day uh, calendar that I have. And I turned these pink side out, but they're actually, it's a, it's a three-piece order sheet. And this is another piece from the scrap, uh, from the spray box. And I've sprayed the paper a pale pink, put the paisley stencil over it, and did it in a darker pink. And it's much more muted on the back. You can decide which look you like better. All right, that is a very green looking, but still pink, junk journal. I'll put these all in the back here. I'd like to thank you so much for looking. Look around. I do have uh, at least one other in the store available. Thank you so much and have a great day.